Hello and welcome. Uh, I am Travis and I'm going to go over the full demo deployment of the uh, ADB to Purview Solution Accelerator. Uh, this will set up everything you need to run in order to do a full end-to-end -end demo um, of this Solution Accelerator. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, you need to go into the uh, uh, Azure portal and click on the Cloud Shell uh, right up here in the top right corner. Uh, this solution accelerator, uh, we use the cloud shell so that nothing is needed to be installed on like anybody's local machine. Everything can be done through the Azure portal. Um, we want to make sure for the full demo that we are actually in Bash up here. Uh, there's two different settings, Bash and PowerShell. So just make sure you're in Bash. Uh, you might get a confirmation screen that pops up that says switch to bash in cloud shell. You just want to confirm that when that goes, uh, if that pops up. Uh, next, we want to set the subscription. Um, so I have my commands off on the side, so I'll go ahead and copy and paste those over. Uh, always copy is plain text. Uh, so now this is just setting my subscription to uh, the subscription, the subscription that I want to use for this demo. Uh, and the next thing we want to do, we are going to create a uh, resource group to uh, deploy this into. Uh, if you already have a resource group, uh, you can go ahead and use that one. Uh, we're going to just start fresh on this deployment. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, all right, so this resource group should be uh, all created and ready to go for the deployment. Um, next, we are going to clone the repository. Um, so basically, you want to CD into the cloud drive. Um, and that basically just sets the destination to uh, the cloud drive where we want to uh, load up the repo. Um, and then we are going to clone this repo by running the git clone action and then just pointing it to uh, the solution accelerator uh, git URL. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we do need to log in for this right now. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, if you get prompted with this password, uh, this is going to be the personal access token. Um, so go ahead and copy and paste that over. Uh, the GitHub personal access token, I should say. Now, when you paste that over, it won't show up uh, because it is a access token and it's um, something you want to keep secret. Um, so don't be alarmed if you don't see anything pop up there. So we're going to go ahead and just refresh this and show that it actually uh, we cloned in the repository. Um, next, we are going to need to update a file uh, inside of this repo. So go ahead and click on the repo. We want to go to deployment infra and we want to open up this settings.sh and edit. Um, and so we are going to want to fill out uh, these objects right here um, and then save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen so that um, my tenant ID and tenant secret and things like that don't get uh, shown. Uh, so this file, the settings file is now updated with uh, the resource group name, the prefix we want to use, client ID, client secret, the tenant ID, um, and the purview location, um, which uh, for this, we are doing Brazil South for this. Um, there are limits on how many uh, purview instances you can have uh, kind of running on one subscription at any time. Um, so you might run into some problems where it says that you have too many uh, purview uh, resources running on your, uh, in that region for that subscription. So just keep an eye out for that. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to CD into the actual infra folder uh, inside the uh, repo. Um, so go ahead and paste that into the bash um, terminal. Um, and then we are going to run the open lineage dash deployment 
.sh file. Um, and this will begin the deployment process of all the resources needed to run the full end-to-end -end demo. And we'll go ahead and hit enter on there. And once you see this running uh, icon start kind of twirling, uh, you'll know that things are being uh, deployed to uh, the Azure subscription that you selected. Um, this will take a minute to um, finish up, so uh, see you back here in a couple minutes. Okay, uh, so towards the end of the deployment, uh, you will see this uh, message pop up, um, and basically you need to add your client ID to the uh, purview account uh, that was just created uh, under the data curator role. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, we are in the resource group that we deployed. So click on the purview account and then uh, open Microsoft purview. And then we're gonna go to uh, data map, uh, view details, role assignments, and then we're going to go to data curators and then click the little plus, and then we are going to put in the um, the ID right here and then add it. So give me just one second and I will do that. Great. So now we are going to go back to uh, the deployment and then hit enter. And next, it's going to upload uh, our types uh, into uh, our purview account. Uh, and there you go. Now the main deployment of everything is uh, is done and ready to do an end-to-end -end, uh, demo.